Hey everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. If you are an engineering student studying in first semester, you may have this subject Essentials of Information Technology. This is with the code BESC 104E. You may get this subject in first semester or second semester. This is a part of Engineering Science courses. Engineering Science course 1 and 2 will be studied in first and second semester. Out of these subjects, you will be having one among these five subjects. So, Essentials of Information Technology is the course comes under Engineering Science courses. Let us look at the syllabus. Essentials of Information Technology, the code is BESC 104E bar 204E. Here we have some course outcomes defined. After studying this course, students should be able to illustrate the different information representation, manipulation schemes and make use of IT that we call it as information technology infrastructure for information exchange. Then students should be able to apply the software engineering concepts for website and application development as well. And students should be able to develop queries for quick insert access and updating the structured information. Then identify the role of cyber security and ethics issues in information technology. These are the five course outcomes. After studying the subject, students should be able to do these. Coming to the modules. The very first module is data storage and data manipulation. So here we need to understand what is data that in terms of bits and their storage in a memory. Then we will be stepping into main memory and mass storage and representing information as bit patterns in memory and then the binary number system what we are going to use in digital electronics and to store the data in any memories. Then storing integers also storing fractions in memories. Then comes the second chapter in module 1 that is data manipulation. Here we will be understanding computer architecture, machine language and what is program execution, how the execution of program will be done in a computer, then arithmetic and logical instructions we need to use while writing the program, then communicating with each and other devices when we are sending and receiving the data. This is about module 1 content. This covered in textbook 1. And in textbook 1, they clearly mentioned that refer chapter 1, 1.1 to 1.7 and chapter 2 is 2.1 to 2.5. This is about module 1. Coming to module 2. Module 2 covers operating systems and algorithms. As we know, operating system is very much required any computer or a laptop or any system which will have some software. The history of operating system then operating system architecture, coordinating machine activities, handling, competition among the processes which run in an operating system and how we provide the security in operating system. This is about chapter 1 in module 2. Then comes the chapter 2 that is algorithms. The concept of an algorithm. When we are writing any program, the algorithm will be written first. So the concept of an algorithm, algorithm representation, Algorithm Discovery is the chapter 2 in module 2. This module covered in textbook 1 chapter 3 and also in chapter 5, 5.1 to 5.3 we need to refer to understand these concepts. Then comes module 3. Module 3 is all about networking and internet. After studying the data representation, data manipulation, storage and how operating systems work, how what is algorithm, then we are introduced to networking and internet. What is internet today? We are using in very high manner. Network fundamentals we need to understand first. How the networks will be connected. Then what is internet? What is www that is world wide web? And then internet protocols what we have. And then the security with respect to the internet is concerned. Then comes cyber security. By understanding about the internet and the networks, we need to understand how the security will be provided in an internet. So first thing is overview, what is cyber security, brief history of cyber security events and then basic information security model what we have to provide security in internet. Then cyber hygiene, then terms of cyber security we need to understand. This is chapter 2. Chapter 3 is ethical issues in information technology. We need to understand the overview of ethical issues, ownership rules we have and then ethics and online content. This gives us the understanding of how the things will be given with the ownership and what ethics and online content rules will be followed uh, in internet and networking with respect to cyber security again. This chapter is 
covered in textbook 1 and 2, chapter 4 of textbook 1 and chapter 16 and 17 of textbook 2 need to be referred to cover this module 3. Then comes module 4. Module 4 is all about software related to the things what we have learned so far that is through software engineering. What is software engineering discipline? Then the software life cycle, software engineering methodologies what we are going to use and then modularity and tools of trade in software engineering. This is chapter 1. Chapter 2 is database management or database systems. You need to understand what is database fundamentals and the relational model in database. These two chapters covered in textbook 1 with uh, chapter 7, 7.1 to 7.5 and chapter 9, 9.1 to 9.2. Here in the syllabus, they clearly mentioned which, which chapter and also which textbook cover this particular module with contents with respect to the content numbering as well. This give you the clear cut idea how you can go through the textbook and what need to be uh, covered. Then coming to module 5, module 5 is about web development and the things related to HTML and website development. What is HTML? Why we need to use this HTML in web development? What is CSS? That is cascade style sheets we are going to use while doing the web development. Then website design and then storyboarding and structure of a website. This give you the idea of what is a website and how actually that will be coded and what are all the things required for website development. Then computer graphics. Within website development, we need an idea of computer graphics as well. The scope of computer graphics, overview of a 3D graphics, modeling and rendering is the concept provided in chapter 2 of module 5. This is covered in textbook 2 that is chapter 12 and textbook 1 chapter 10, 10.1 to 10.4. And if you look at the learning resources, what you need to refer, uh, there are two textbooks prescribed here. As in the syllabus, they mentioned textbook 1, textbook 2, they are given over here. Textbook 1 is the textbook named as Computer Science, an overview. This is the 12th edition of PSN Education Limited with these two authors. We need to take this textbook to refer these contents. And also there is another textbook too, that is Fundamentals of Information Technology by these authors. And this is by the University of South Florida. They have given the link over here. This may take you to the PDF or some downloadable link of this particular textbook. They may have given the complete link here. You can also refer more with respect to this subject through the books like reference books here, Information to uh, Introduction to Information Technology 3rd edition and Introduction Information Technology in Theory is the second book they have given as reference textbooks. So, all the contents will be covered in these two textbooks only. If you want more information, some information will be available in these two books as well. And some web links they have given video lectures of NPDL courses. Uh, in Swayam, you can take in course of information technology, computer organization and architecture, introduction to internet. So these three courses also cover some of the topics of the subject what they have given here, but not completely, but you may get some more information as well. And teaching methodology also they have given. Uh, Teachers can use flipped classroom, problem based learning, case based teaching, simulation and virtual labs can be used, ICT enabled teaching can be done. There is an ass assessment structure they have given similarly as any other subjects comes under engineering science courses and also they have given the learning activity practical assessment for 25 marks. You can go through these instructions and you need to follow how your teacher guides to carry out this activity. This is all about essential of information technology subject. If you have this subject in this semester, please comment below so that we can cover more about this subject to help you guys to understand and score more in your exams. Thank you.